Hey guys, so Easter is just around the corner, so today I wanted to share this Happy Easter cookies idea. It's super easy to make, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to be needing is a cookie dough recipe. I do have a tutorial on my channel, it's going to be linked below. And to make the cookies even, I'm using my rolling pin spacer bands. I do have a tutorial on those as well, it's going to be again on my channel. The cookie cutters that I'm using are from a local store, but you can search online. I lost the footage of this design, but I'm going to explain to you what I did step by step. Okay, first you're going to let your cookies dry after they baked for about, mine took kind of 8 minutes, I think, but just keep an eye on them. Once you take your cookies out of the oven, just let them cool and then prepare your realizing. I do have a tutorial on the recipe that I used, it's going to be below. And then I, I bought this edible confetti daisy shaped kind of sprinkles they are but I just took a bunch of them and I just took the, the white ones like separating one by one if you have daisies that are just white go ahead and use them I didn't have it so that's why I took them from the package itself so I just separated them and just left them in here so I just it would be easier for me to just take one by one. Then I went ahead with my royal icing and I put it inside my Ziploc bag which is my piping method and I worked with one cookie at a time so I'm just going to put this aside and just explain to you with the edge. So I just went ahead with my blue and first made the outline and then once that was done I went ahead with the filling kind of uh, do it fast because royal icing tends to dry super super fast. And then took my scrap tool and I just removed any air bubbles. And before the dry, I went ahead with my tweezers. These are just for baking stuff. And I apply, took the, the flowers like this and I applied them while my icing was still wet. And then I just let the whole thing dry. And for this ones, I'm going to add a middle, the uh, dab in the middle, which is going to be jello. So the second design is two letters. Okay, then I'm going to be taking this pink and I'm going to be adding sort of lines or figures. My T is going to be the pink. It's going to be kind of more in there, like so. And then I'm going to just let it this crust. And once that's the crust, I'm going to be taking the orange and I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be adding a line, even that out. And this one is going to be just like that. Then again, arrange it and let it crust. I feel like my colors went a bit too neon instead of just having them more springy if that makes any sense, more Easter. But again, you can use, you know, more or less um, food coloring. Again, I'm going to just let this crust. Then after my purple has crust, I'm just going to go ahead and go here, like so. Just trying to make it as you know, neat as possible. I'm just going to go and then try to do that. And finally, again, with the jello. And then as the really final step, I'm just going to add a small tiny icing in there and I'm just going to put my flower on the top and another in there. I just thought it needed something else, I don't know. And then for this one, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to add a small tiny dot in here, dot in here. This is the third design, and this is the other design that I didn't find the footage on my computer, so I'm just going to explain to you what I did. It's pretty similar to the other one. Just separated a bunch of these on the same color in groups, the blues, the oranges, stuff like that, okay? And once you have all the, your groups separated, we're going to be making first the outline, and then the filling. Then we're going to pick the scribe tool and just remove any air bubbles, anything like that, and to make your icing even. Once that's done, you're going to pick the flower and you're going to put it in place. So I'm just going to add the same but in white in the middle. 
and I'm going to be doing the same thing in all of the remaining ones. And then here's for the fourth and final design, I'm going to, this is going to be one of my random designs. First the outline. That is a really funky looking outline. Then the filling. And then before it dries, I'm going to be adding some dots, simulating polka dots. Kind of try to make it better looking. For this one, I'm just picking the blue. Whoa, I started really weird in there. And then just going around. And then here. Go with my stripe tool and then before it dries I'm just going to go with the green and once you're done guys you just have to arrange the whole thing however you like just remember to kind of put the designs randomly so they kind of different from one to the next Sorry again for the footage that I lost but hopefully my explanation was, was easy to follow and as always, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to tune in next Friday for the next next Friday for desserts, and I'll talk to you next time.